I got hurt one time on on uh, no more while we were there. Uh, a block we were we were attacking a blockhouse. It must have been 20, 30 feet high. It's where they start all the warheads for submarines. The Quasli Nato was 62 miles long, but all the ships came into the lagoon, and that's where they got all our ammunition and fuel. Well, it blew up. I was on the side, and it wiped out half my company. And I got, and I, there may be a picture of it. It shows us a cloud, and the people don't remember him. Cormac Clapper was one of the great uh, writers at that time. He was killed in an airplane flying over Who's this? So, Carmen Clapper was his name. Good Carmen name. Clapper. Anyway, while I was behind the machine gun, I got a hit in the back. And uh, my ammunition carrier, Jarrett, said, are you all right? And I said, yeah, I just got hit with something. And sure enough, embedded next to me, about 16 inches long, about that thick, jagged edges, it glanced off my back. If it hit me sideways, it cut me in half. Well, it hurt. And, um, yeah, no, really. <laughs> yeah, it hurt, but there was no place to go, so we stayed all night there. We repelled quite a few Japanese attempts, to, and the next day uh, they uh, told us to clean the island up. Well, they didn't need the machine gun, so I left the, and joined the, the rifle group. And uh, matter of fact, I got wounded the second time this time. There was a machine gun over on the side, and they were killing some of our men. And this kid Kodak, he was an old Marine. He said, let's get that machine gun. I said, okay, you go to the left, I'll go to the right. Well, we split. He came from this side, I came from this side. Well, I took out three riflemen and uh, got shot in the leg and threw a grenade in there and he threw a grenade. He got the Silver Star for it. 